This video will answer a commonly asked question about how to take a complete group from Autodesk Maya and export it into Unreal Engine using Ornatrix plugin for both Maya and Unreal Engine. To start, I created a quick easy group that just uh, creates some hairs using edit guides and then it adds some frizz on top of this hair that was created. So I'm going to select the hair shape here by selecting the top item in our stack view and then I'm going to press the generate groom from selection button. Next, I will specify the directory where I want to create my groom and just enter the name for my groom. I will just leave it as new groom here. Once I press generate, a new groom will be created in my specified directory and it will have the oxg.usda extension. So this is all that's needed from the Maya side. Next, we're going to jump into Unreal Engine. I have my Unreal Engine editor open here and there is a blank scene inside. I go to Windows Explorer to see the new groom file that we have just created and it can be added into Unreal Engine by just dragging and dropping it into the content browser or alternatively you can press this add import button here and use the import into the current folder option. I will change the directory of uh, the groom and select this new groom. Once it's added you will get this new entry in into the asset browser and now you can take this entry and drag and drop it directly into the Unreal editor. If I zoom in this has created a native Unreal groom for us that even has the physics simulation in it and now if I click this Ornatrix toolbar button, I can see it in my stack view. However, because it's a native groom, right now it's only a single item. If I press this toggle groom button, this Unreal groom gets converted into an Ornatrix editable groom. And uh, with this groom, I can use any of the Ornatrix tools to modify it. For example, I can brush these hairs or I can select the freeze operator and further adjust the freeze parameters or I can add or remove operators and basically do anything else that Ornatrix allows. And once I'm done with that, I just toggle this button again to convert it into the Unreal Native Groom. So this Native Groom that we have right now can be used as any other native asset inside of your game or any other Unreal Editor project. You can also export it back into Maya, 3ds Max or C4D. We'll leave this part for another video.